What if I told you that one day most orthopedic surgery will become a thing of the past? What if I told you that one day we'll be able to unleash your body's healing potential using nothing but your own cells? What if I told you that that day is today? I'm a regenerative medicine physician, and my focus is on healing your body with your body. After all, there is nothing on this planet that can heal you as well as you. All of us want to be this guy. <laughs> we all want for ourselves and for our loved ones to be able to pursue our passions for as long as we possibly can. That's what quality of life is all about. <coughs> Clearly, this guy has quality of life. And what empowers his quality of life is the same exact thing that empowers your quality of life. And that is your physical function. Your function is what allows you the ability to coordinate all of your body's movements to stand up, to sit down, to run, to throw a ball, play a piano, anything you could name. Just this morning, we all woke up, we got out of bed, we put our pants on, one leg at a time, hopefully. We went downstairs, we fixed ourselves breakfast, we turned the doorknob, we walked out into the world to tackle our day. And we repeat this routine every day and most of us don't think twice about the function that's involved in order to do any of it, because that function, for most of us, is automatic. So it's easy to take your function for granted. I took my function for granted until I met my patient, Jay. Jay was robbed of his function. In the prime of his life, in the blink of an eye, he sustained a traumatic spinal cord injury in a car accident and was left a quadriplegic with no use of his legs and no use of his hands. And what originally inspired me about Jay was his hope and courage, his hope for restoration of his function so that he might be able to pursue his passions again, and his courage to do anything it took to get that function back. I remember one evening, I was getting ready to leave the hospital, and I wanted to say goodnight to Jay. And when I went into his room, I saw something that shocked me. He was upset. He was crying. And I'd never seen him like that before. He was always so upbeat. And I said to him, what's the matter, Jay? And he said, I can't use my hands. I can't use my fingers. So I can't use that stupid iPad my dad got me. But it's not the iPad that I'm worried about. It's this. Jay was an artist. And there it was, right at my fingertips, this preciousness of our function and what it might mean to lose our ability to pursue our passions. I'll never forget what Jay said to me. He told me, I may not be able to draw today, but I will draw again, and I will walk again. And it was ever since that day that I understood the preciousness of our function, and I dedicated my career to doing anything I could to restore that function for my patients because of what it would mean for their quality of life. So we have to talk about how our body normally restores function. And the answer is pretty simple. We heal. Our body repairs itself. Well, how are we able to heal? We heal ourselves with our cells. So in order for you to understand what I do, I need to teach you three facts about your cells. Fact number one, your body's 
always contain stem cells all throughout your body and all throughout your lives. So it's easy to see why we don't need to concern ourselves with anybody else's stem cells, from a fetus or from an embryo. We have our own cells our whole lives. Fact number two, your stem cell's responsibility is to heal you by repairing your body's tissues. This is what your stem cells do for you your entire life. And fact number three, regenerative medicine, which is what I do, is all about harnessing the power of your body's stem cells by concentrating them and focusing them with a simple injection into an injury in order to create new healing and new repair. If you think about it, regenerative medicine is really a revolution in the way we treat our orthopedic injuries. Instead of fighting our body's natural inflammatory response with anti-inflammatory medications and cortisone shots and numbing our pain away with dangerous, addictive, deadly pain medications, we can repair our body and heal our pain naturally using our very cells, which were specifically created to do this job of repairing our body. When this repair is completed, the pain and inflammation go away, and our function is restored. And when that happens, we can use a word that we always want to use in medicine, but we never can, a cure. A cure to your pain that requires no medication and no surgery. And not just any cure, but an organic cure. Because after all, your stem cells are certainly organic. Your cells are all natural and locally sourced. <laughs> and if you're a vegan, your cells are grass-fed. <laughs> so, we concentrate two of our primary cells, our platelets and our stem cells. In order to concentrate your platelets, we take a simple blood draw and we spin it down in a centrifuge until we're left with an isolation of our platelets and the plasma that they float in, and we call this platelet-rich plasma, or PRP. In order to concentrate your stem cells, we'll numb down the posterior hip and literally tap into the bone in order to pull your bone marrow out where your stem cells live and we'll spin that down in the centrifuge as well until we're left with an isolation and a concentration of your stem cells. We'll then use both of them in conjunction with each other, and we use a tool that's known as musculoskeletal ultrasound. Think of it like a live MRI. So here you can see an image of a shoulder, and I've labeled it for you with the different layers. So at the top you have skin, and then muscle, and then tendon, and then that's the shoulder bone or the head of the humerus. And in the middle of that tendon, as clear as day, you can see a hole. That's what your typical rotator cuff tendon tear looks like. And we can use this ultrasound to guide a needle directly into that injury and fill it with your healing cells. Think about how much easier that is than cutting that shoulder open and anchoring it and suturing it and then putting you into an immobilizer for months at a time. So you can see, at the top left of the screen, we guide the needle directly into the hole. You can see the needle go right into that tear. And once the needle is in that tear, look how easy it is to fill it with your cells. This gentleman in particular owns an aquarium cleaning service. And his shoulder was hurting him so badly that he was worried that his business would be swimming with the fishes. <laughs> and instead of opting for surgery, he came to us and we performed this injection. He was able to return to work within two days, and his pain was completely gone in eight weeks. And we've treated a huge range of patients from ages 18 all the way up to age 90 with regenerative medicine. And although the patient's issues were all very different, their outcomes were all the same, either drastically or completely eliminated pain and restored function because of it. Regenerative medicine is a logical, brand new train station that sits in between our conservative therapies, such as our medications and physical therapy, 
and our invasive surgical procedures. Regenerative medicine is FDA approved, minimally invasive. Our patients walk in and out of the clinic on the same morning or afternoon. There's no immobilization required whatsoever. And our patients are able to start physical therapy immediately. One of the number one things my patients say to me is, I wish I knew about this sooner. Well, I wish you knew about this sooner, too. <laughs> this is what keeps me awake at night. But the problem is that most well-educated adults have no idea that they have stem cells throughout their bodies and throughout their lives, let alone that those stem cells have been repairing their body this entire time. Most doctors don't know about regenerative medicine. So how could we expect their patients to know about their options? And as a patient, if you don't know about your options, how could you possibly make a well-informed medical decision? Well, this is the very reason that we stand on this stage in this very forum, because regenerative medicine is clearly an idea worth sharing and an idea worth spreading. Think about how many people would want to reverse the arthritis in an arthritic knee or hip, creating regeneration out of degeneration. Think about how many people would want to heal their pain naturally without drugs or surgery. And think about how many people would want to avoid surgery altogether if they knew that they could. I feel privileged to be a part of this revolution in medicine of healing ourselves with ourselves. This is an exciting time. The future of medicine is within ourselves and within ourselves. And we're just starting to get an idea of what else our stem cells will be able to do for us. For example, we know that our stem cells will be able to regenerate skin for our burn victims. We know that our stem cells will be able to regenerate cardiac tissue for our heart attack patients. And we know that our stem cells will be able to regenerate nervous tissue for our stroke patients and our Parkinson's patients and even our spinal cord injury patients. Speaking of which, I reached out to Jay after three years. And as it just so happens, he was injected using his stem cells right into his spinal cord injury. And prior to that injection, he hadn't really gotten much of his function back. But after that injection, he got the use of his triceps back. What did that mean as far as his quality of life? Let me show you. He sent me this video in which he was able to pursue one of his passions again that he never thought he'd be able to do again. He went scuba diving. And you can see that now that he has the use of his triceps, he can push himself around the water naturally, just like he could before. And if that wasn't enough, he sent me another video in which he did walk again, just like he said he would. And make no mistake, this took hours and days and months and years of hard work. But he wouldn't have been able to do it if not for the work that he put in. And if that wasn't enough, I asked Jay whether or not he would draw again for us. And because he still doesn't have the use of his hands, his parents had to literally tape the pastels to his hand and wrist so that he could use his arm to create this work. Can you imagine the courage that that took, knowing that that work might be shared with thousands and thousands of people? Well, as I said before, Jay has always motivated me with his hope and his courage. And now I know that he will motivate and inspire you too. Thank you very much.